And so from that point of view, that is why I don't like the way social media has twisted this old money aesthetic to mean you don't have money, but here's how you can dress so you look like you do. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Let's talk about old money aesthetics or quiet luxury, stealth wealth dressing. I did a video like this several weeks ago now where I spoke about how I feel about the trend. I do think it's a trend. And I don't think it's a trend for everyone. I know a lot of you said to me in the comments, you know, I've been dressing quiet luxury for generations. It's not new to me, it's not a trend to me, it's something I've always done. And I do think that the benefit to this particular aesthetic is that it can feel very timeless. But there is something about it I don't like, which I will talk about. But as we go, I have got here uh, some tips that will help you look old money, quiet luxury. Uh, I know it's a thing at the moment, which is why I thought I would do this, but I've got some tips here that I think will help you as well as some clothes and all of the color palettes really work with the old money thing because the color palette matches each other. So I've got pink, cream and black and all of these things interchange with one another. So as we talk, I'm gonna show you some outfits just to give you some like inspiration and some ideas and I'm gonna to link to everything below. Including my top, which I feel is very Celine, old school Celine styling. Um, if I come closer, I have to show you in detail. It's a really thick knitted material and I particularly like on here. Can you see that texture in the knit there? Uh, this is wool and it's got gold buttons down the front. I just love this. I really like it. And I'm wearing it with my Celine 1980s vintage bracelet, which I found online. So what do I think about it? I spoke about this a little bit in the last video, so I'm not going to kind of go over it a lot because I'm sure for those of you who saw it, you don't need to hear it again. But for anyone who's new, my take on it is this old money aesthetic thing. I like the core values of what the trend is actually about, which is about buying better quality and buying less. I like also that it's very much about buying a more muted colour palette so that all of the things you've got work with each other. What I don't like is an, the undertone of, hey, you don't have any money, but here's how you can dress so that you do have money. There's something about that that feels uncouth to me personally. Um, but I... I I feel conflicted with it. I like the core values of the trend, what the trend should be about, but I just don't like the twist or the spin that's been put on it. Okay, so I've got a few tips and a few styling ideas for how you can look old money without breaking the bank. And I'm also gonna talk about how you can actually, in my opinion, I think quite luxury is about no logos, right? But I actually do think that there is a way of injecting logos um, in a way that works, that still feels old money aesthetic. So for some clothing items, I've picked things that are all from the same place and everything is from a place called Goelia. Goelia has been going since 1995, it's long standing. They are very anti fast fashion and they are a brand that is very much about producing clothing that is high quality, made of high grade fabrics, and is affordable. So fabrics such as wool, silk, cashmere, cottons, a lot of the pieces here are made out of those items. And as we go through, I will tell you what things are made from because old money aesthetic is very much about buying things where the fabric's decent. That's another thing. You want things to fit right, but you want the fabric to be good. The first item is this, and it's actually a suit. So it's a dress, a really pretty dress with these sorts of straps over the shoulders with a tweed jacket over the top. This is so Jackie O, this is so Princess Diana. It's also the type of tweed feels very Chanel style without the Chanel price tag. So if you want to look like you've just stepped out of a boutique, this is the kind of thing that would really look really nice. This would also be perfect if you're going to a wedding this year and you're a wedding guest or anything you've got coming up, such as the races or any functions you've got coming up, this is the perfect thing. On there it looks quite washed out, but in real life it's baby pink and it has tiny little 
silver sequins on it which really catch the light it's just a very pretty item but i'm also going to show you how you can style this jacket with jeans because jeans are another way that you can actually you'd be surprised but this quite luxury thing go and have a look at princess diana back in the day she used to wear a lot of denim and you can totally get that look with wearing denim so here's just an example here of where you can wear this jacket with a pair of jeans the jeans are also from the same place i will link to everything below but that's another way that you can get the look for less next up before i talk about some amazing bags i've got bags on the floor i need to show you which work really well with these looks but another thing to do is to think about buying a blazer or you might even have a blazer that you can already use now i've got two types here i've got one which is a double breasted longer blazer which has got this really nice um it looks like a saddle stitch around the edge here and it gives it a really nice texture i'll come in closer and show you you can see there and it goes all the way down and round on the lapel this looks gorgeous with a dress although i've put it here with a pair of jeans because jeans are, are something that i would typically wear more but also i wanted to show you that you you can do the smart casual thing now, if you find that a blazer is a bit too formal for you, have a think about a cropped off blazer. I love a cropped off blazer and I've got two and I don't even know which one I prefer the most. This is the first one. This is a black woolen cropped off blazer. It's the softest wool when you feel it. It almost feels like, not velvet, it feels something like suede and velvet mixed together. It's the warmest, coziest, most beautiful uh, cropped off jacket. It's got matte gold buttons on the sleeves as well as a matte gold button on the front there. Or if you're thinking, I don't want something like that because it's summer, go for this. This is a cropped off version of it, but it's in cream. Actually, it's not a version of it. It is different. It doesn't have a button on the front. It's cut to sit more like waterfall. Uh, is that what you would call it? So it just sits like that when you're wearing it. Um, it's got ivory buttons on the sleeve so this is not um a bright white jacket this is ivory and this is also made of wool but it's a different textured wool to the black one the black one is like soft and cashmere feeling this does not feel like that this if you're familiar with the balmain blazers in wool this feels the same as that that kind of texture to it and it's a lighter wool so it's the kind of thing that you could really easily wear in the summer and i love it I love this. This and the black version I'm going to be wearing with jeans or with cargo trousers, anything like that. I love I love the look of these. Like a few of the outfits in this video, this is a set. But I want to show you that if you were to get this, you could actually wear it in a couple of different ways. Now it comes like this with a skirt and the skirt has pockets in it on both sides. And it's quite, it's a very thick skirt. This is a very heavy knit material it feels very premium but if you were to put this cardigan with a pair of jeans it would look something like this it's got a vintage to me at least it has like a vintage appeal and if i come in closer and show you it's got really nice buttons on it chanel style buttons the this is wool and it's got a texture to the actual wool itself if you can see there try this with a pair of jeans i love how this looks with jeans i've been wearing it today before i changed into this and i love the way this looks with jeans it's so nice so this is another good way of where you can buy one set outfit but i'm sure you've got jeans at home you could put the jeans on with this and there you've got like a second outfit to go with a couple of other things that you can do i think that shorts can also look very elegant but there is a way of wearing them and this is an outfit which i feel has got an elegance to it it looks like a skirt but it is actually shorts and i love that it's a pure white suit it's got a matching jacket the buttons on this jacket are gorgeous they're very chanel style and it's a very classic cut there's nothing about it that's too stylized or too 2023 this is the kind of suit that you could wear whenever go on holiday with it wear it wherever you want to go it's very elegant it's very classy and it's very timeless but also with this jacket consider that you could also wear this jacket with other trousers or a different skirt Let's do a couple of dresses before we talk about handbags and how you can work a logo in and make it work. 
One of my favourite dresses is this, and this is the same fabric as that cream cut-off blazer that I showed you a moment ago. It's very elegant. I love the neckline on it. The neckline also has that, you know, the saddle stitch kind of thing? I don't know if that's the word for it. But what was on that mauve kind of blazer earlier, this has got the same thing running around the edge where it's got the enlarged stitching. So that is also wool. Then we've got another option here, which is gorgeous. This is a knitted dress so it's stretchy really really stretchy and it bounces straight back again so it doesn't matter on your figure this will fit anyone obviously you can get it in your size what size did i get i've actually got everything in the same size i've got everything in a uk size 10 and the sizing's been good but this is very very flattering i love the way it's got the pearl buttons down the front as well which again feels quite old money i hate the same I keep having to say it, I don't like the saying, but it does feel quite like that. And I also like the way this is tweed. So this has got a tweed trim around the edge. Another favorite of mine is this dress, which is the same, let me show you. It's the same tone of pink as the dress with matching jacket that I showed you earlier. And it's the same fabric. So it's that tweed fabric that's got the little silver sequins in it. But the dress is very different. It's got a V neckline on it. So it's like a rounded neckline with a V. It's got little pockets either side. And then it's got a waistband with Chanel style buttons that go all the way down. And these buttons have got a pearl in the middle with small diamantes around the outside edge. So what bags do I recommend? And how can you work a logo into this look? First of all, I personally feel as though there is a way of working a logo into an old money aesthetic look. But the key is the logo has to be vintage. So for example, to me, a vintage Chanel classic flap screams old money. To me, it really does. But also, I don't feel that they make you the target that the new bags can do. So the new classic flaps that are 8K plus or whatever they are now, I, could, I personally feel like I could be a target with that bag, but with a vintage bag, it's overlooked, but it looks very, very old money, very classy, very elegant. And again, if you think about Princess Diana back in the 90s, she was carrying Chanel, she was carrying Dior, she was carrying logos, but they were discreet, they were small, and they were on bags that we would now consider to be vintage. So I think the classic flap in vintage is definitely where it's at. Also have a think about including a belt into your look and a belt that I really recommend for this because again, it feels quite vintage, is Celine. So this belt is new, but I feel that there's something about it that feels quite timeless and quite elegant. And it's one of those logos that if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. If you really are anti-logo though, and you want to know, you want a bag that is logo free, I will link to that last video I did below because I did put a, little, a lot of bag ideas in that video and links to them. But can I suggest that you think about bags that are handmade, whether that's artisan leather handmade where you go on holiday to Italy and you see like a little leather shop somewhere and you buy a bag from them, or think about something like this. This is a crocheted bag. And I found this amazing, I've got to come in closer to show you this. I found this amazing lady on Instagram who crochets them and this tassel comes off by the way. She crochets them and you can pick whatever color you want, whatever hardware color you want. Her shop is called Lee Lou London and I also have one in gold with white and this with the suit that I showed you earlier, the one that like the short shorts suit this looks amazing with that it looks really really good it really pops so definitely have a think about handmade bags or another option is this this is from Lorna these bags are actually quite hard to get you know the Lorna bags they take a long time to turn up because everyone is handmade um, I have looked pre-loved and they don't come up that often and when they do they're pretty expensive actually you might as well buy direct um, so they're quite in demand they're gorgeous bags and again, if it's good enough for the queen, then it should be good enough for all of us. What do you think about this trend though? Do you love it? Do you really not love it? How are you feeling about it? Maybe you like it, but you also don't like the connotations 
around the financial aspect of it. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. If you want to come and hang out some more, I'm going to put a couple of videos in here. If you don't see any videos, it could be because you're watching on a mobile device, potentially, or there's a YouTube glitch. But either way, if you can see videos here, then have a choose, come and see whichever one maybe you want to hang out in next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.